Passing highlights are always my favorite highlights to watch. There's something about a player seeing something before everyone else does and creating something miraculous out of thin air. I've always believed passing is the easiest way to measure a player's basketball IQ. There's obviously so much more to basketball IQ, but a good passer understands basketball a step faster than everyone else and uses every part of their game to make others better. And who doesn't like players who make others better? The Phoenix Suns traded a future Milwaukee Bucks first round pick to select Ty Jerome, a 21-year-old point guard who played in the national champion Virginia Cavaliers. Ty Jerome is a 6'5", 195-pound floor general who is an efficient scorer, a good ball handler, a pick-and-roll maestro, but his skill, his bread and butter, is passing. Good shots because they're comfortable late, and what a good look here. Underneath, Dita Kite on the feed from Jerome. Five to shoot. Underneath, and scoring is Mamadine. The this start here, this is the second game now without Chuma Okiki. See, when I talk about measuring basketball IQ by a player's ability to pass well, what I'm talking about is so much more than just seeing an open man, and Ty Jerome exemplifies that. The best passers have to create passing lanes. They have to collapse defenses with penetration. They have to trick defenders with hesitations, fakes, and use their eyes like a quarterback confusing a secondary. If it was only about seeing an open man, then so many players could be good passers, but not all of them are. Let's look at a few of Ty Jerome's best passes to break down what makes him so good. Let's look at this one first. Ty comes around a screen and catches the ball open for a split second. He catches it in a stance prepared to shoot and immediately head fakes, which draws two defenders. The head fake creates enough space to dribble into the lane, but it's the drive into traffic that draws four defenders. And for a brief moment, because of Ty's attack on a closeout, all four offensive players are open besides Ty. Ty stares down the corner, which causes the Texas Tech defender to run out to the corner. Then he drops a perfect bounce pass in traffic in the lane to create an easy floater that nobody was prepared to defend. This is what I mean when I say that playmaking for others is about so much more than seeing the open man. A great playmaker uses all of their tools to create for others. This next play could not exemplify that any better. Ty catches the ball in transition and once again uses his whole body to sell the head fake at the three point line and drives on the closeout. He uses his eyes to look away the defender behind him by glancing at the three point shooter at the top of the key. He crosses a few times to get the defenders backpedaling, quickly up fakes, then slyly drops a no look pass to an easy dunk. It took so much to create this shot, and it was all Ty. The head fake at the three point line, tricking defenders by looking away the defender, crossing pump fakes, and a no look pass. I mean, come on. This play was great playmaking at its purest. Now let's look at a few of the types of passes that Ty Jerome can throw. Here's a weak side skip pass over defenders that only a guy with his size would risk. Here's a one-handed right hand shovel pass without picking up his dribble. Here's another one. Here's that same pass, but with his left hand. And here's an example of him passing a man open by passing to a spot before the offensive player gets there. I mean, this guy just has every pass in his bag. Does all of this guarantee that Ty Jerome will be a great NBA player? No, of course not. Ty Jerome is tall for a point guard at 6'5", but he has short arms and he's mm, athletically challenged, both of which combined make it difficult to play great defense as well as finishing in the lane. But what he lacks in athletic ability, he tends to make up for with brains and insanely efficient scoring. In the last 20 years, the Suns have taken three point guards in the first round. 
None of them have worked out. But with Ty Jerome, we've seen he can win. He's smart. He can shoot. And he's led the best offenses. And best of all that, he can pass. That's a good skill to have. He's likely the best passer on the Phoenix Suns right now as a rookie. If I had to bet whether or not he will be a successful NBA player, I'm putting my money on number 11. 